people are inclined to give like a ton of like deference to anyone who just tells you that their that their parents or whatever were from a country. So like bots can just like say, my mother was a Cuban. She suffered so hardly under Fidel Castro. How dare you speak over me? And the average liberal will be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for educating me on the true, the true nuance of this issue. Now I really want Cuba's government to be overthrown so that the USA can do a genocide. Thank you so much. That's basically what happened to AOC during the Bolivia coup. AOC went from like saying that the Bolivia coup was a coup. And then like a couple of weeks later, she meets with like these right wing evangelical fascist Bolivian expats in, in, in Miami. And they inform her of the, tr the truth. And then, you know, the next thing you know, she's taking a photo with them and posting on Twitter about how wrong she was and, 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 and how delighted she is to be informed by people with their lived, by, you know, people who have their lived experiences, the sufficient lived experiences in Bolivia to tell her the truth, the, the, the whole truth about the evil, the evil Evo Morales dictatorship. That's what I mean when I, t when I tell you, like, the, the liberal who just, like, is so ready to defer to anyone. Because it, it, it's just performative work bullshit, right? You, you know, if someone has lived experiences, you, mu you must accept whatever they say about anything, even if there's no proof at all. That's how the bots can be so effective. They basically weaponize that. That they take this, this inclination that especially moronic Americans have where like anyone from a country is, or is, is or anyone from a country or even not even from that country, like someone whose parents were from a country is automatically an, uh, an authority on the politics of that country and anything that they say is objectively correct. Which makes no sense. Like, imagine, imagine just like deferring to like say a Trump supporter because they're from the USA. Even worse, imagine defer, imagine thirty years down the line deferring to to like the the son of a Trump supporter who tells you that Trump was really awesome back in the day because his dad told him so. That's literally the level that they're at that people are at when they believe what these people say. It's absolutely ludicrous. Being from a country or having ancestry from a country or having parents from a country, none of these things, even if you live even if you live there your whole life, you're not a fucking authority. I know far more about Argentine politics than 99 fucking percent of people who live here. It's nothing to do with nothing to do with like um where you're from. It's to do with doing the reading, actually looking into stuff, knowing what you're talking about. You know, the, the thing the things that you don't know about from like not growing up in a country, and nothing to do with that. It's everything to do with like cult, like um more subtle like social cultural stuff, like um more subconscious sort of stuff. Like, you know, having the experience, for example, of going to like, you know, growing up in a country, going to school there, etc. Those are the sorts of things that you can't replicate from just reading on a news website. But in regards to like what happens, you know, what's going on politically in a country. Yeah, absolutely. You can, you know, like the history of a country. Yeah, absolutely. I know far more about the countries that I talk about than most people who live in those, who live in those countries their entire life. It has absolutely fucking nothing to do with, with whether I'm from there or not and everything to do with, um, Everything to do with the fact that, you know, like, like the, the average fucking person from any country is just going to regurgitate whatever they, whatever the media wants them to. And it's not particularly their fault. It's because if you're not that interested in, in politics, you're, you're going to like, um, going to like, um, very sort of, um, subtly pick up on whatever the majority opinion is and, and adopt a lot of it as your own. That's why it makes no fucking sense to like see to people from other countries as authorities, especially if they're people who speak English very well, right? Because people who speak English very well in a non-English speaking, in a non-majority English speaking country, basically they're always from a position of privilege. It's, it's quite, not always, but sometimes, you know, they're self-taught or something, but it's a marker of, of, um, of wealth. So heavily correlated with wealth. So, you know, like the average sort of, sort of person who like speaks English natively and tells you what things are really like in their country is definitely not going to be a representative sample of the population in any way, shape or form. Because the representative sample of the population doesn't speak fucking English, okay? Don't give anyone any credence just because of where, they, where they're from, where their parents are from, anything like that. They don't fucking know what they're talking about solely because of that. If you wouldn't want, like, the average right-winger representing your country's politics inter internationally, then you probably shouldn't fall for, like, a right-winger from another country trying to present themselves as, like, the objective arbiter of, of what things are like in their country and, like... And, like, they have the, their finger on the fucking pulse of the average person in that country. Because more than likely they don't. More than likely they fucking don't, man. The average person in Latin America, in Africa, in Asia, doesn't fucking have time to tweet about politics in that country, let alone in English, obviously. They don't have the time nor the interest. So you, what you're getting is, is innately an incredibly skewed, pers skewed perspective. And you have to think about that before just blindly trusting whatever you see on social media or reported, you know, like interviewing some random person on the street, even stuff like that. 
It's not authoritative. Not in any, fo in any way, shape or form. Don't be stupid. Please.